Hi, welcome to the 13th video of the Golang DynamoDB Bulletproof Cloud API project series. In the past video, we worked on our controller product.go file and we created the create, update, delete, and uh, list all function. <clears throat> In this uh, video, I want to tackle uh, the rules folder. So you have a folder called rules here. And in that folder, what you want to do, uh, first let's cl close off all the other folders so that there's not much confusion. And open up the rules folder inside internal folder. In the rules folder, you want to create a folder called product. Inside that product folder, you want to create a file called product.co. Okay. Inside the rules folder, you also want to create another file called interface. Make sense? So in the product folder, there's product.go file, and in the rules folder, there's interface.go file. So the interface.go file is going to be quite straightforward. It's going to uh, basically be a part of the package rules because as you know, in Golang, uh, the way we keep it is we keep the folder name, uh, which is which will be equal to the package name. So all the files in that folder will belong to that package. So this is package rules. You have uh, a couple of things that you want to import. So firstly, I want to import IO package. And soon you'll come to know why I'm doing that. And the other package I want to import is github.com slash aws slash aws sdk slash uh, service slash dynamo db. Okay. And here I want to define an interface. The name is interface for the interface for these rules. And uh, these rules will have four different functions that I can use uh, through this interface, right? So the first function will be convert IO, which is O is small, reader to struct. I've talked about this function, but in this video, we're actually going to build that function. Text data, which is IO dot reader. Take some model, which is interface. Okay. And it returns body of type interface, comma, error, which is of type error. Then you have a function for getting some mock values, which again is interface and with migrate. Migrate returns an error. Just like get mock returns an interface, migrate returns an error, but it takes a connection to the dynamo db dot dynamo db. And we get access to this using this library. Lastly, we have the validate function. Just make sure you write the spelling correctly. It takes a model, which is a type interface, returns an error. Awesome. <clears throat> now, uh, this will be of type package product. It's in the product folder. We're going to import a couple of things here, right? So um, we can either import them as we use them in the functions, or we can just quickly import them because I know which all I'll use here. So a few of them, I can just get them quickly because I know I'll be using these. Obviously, I need the errors uh, package, I need the JSON for incorrect decoding. I need my IO package. I need strings package. I need a time package. And definitely I'll need the um, AWS packages, uh, AWS DynamoDB packages. I think I'll come back to that in a while. So firstly, I want to define of a variable called rules, which is a struct. And then you have a function called new rules, returns the rules to you, which you've just defined that struct. And it's going to just return rules collection, which is empty, empty struct. Now the functions that you'll have here, 
which will be the basically these functions. So these functions, uh, you want to be able to uh, interact with these functions through this interface. That's why we created the interface or these rules functions. Now the functions are convert io reader to struct. Second function is migrate. Then you have your uh, get mock. And then you have your validate. All of the functions from your interface, get mock, migrate, and validate. But along with this, I'll have one more function called create table, which is part of my package products. Now, um, the convert IO reader to struct. It's a function, right? And it's a struct method of type rules. So it's not a regular function, it's a struct method. It takes data and it takes model. You already know that because we just defined the interface a while back. You already know it takes data and it takes an interface. And it returns an interface and returns an error. Now you want to check if data that you're receiving here in this function is equal to nil. If it is equal to nil, then you just return nil. Errors.new body is invalid. And you return model comma json dot new decoder data dot decode model. So all that's happening out here is basically getting the IO data and then decoding it into a model. Now comes the migrate function, which is again the my uh, a struct method. Star, star rules migrate, and to migrate the database, you just need a connection to the to DynamoDB. So let's say DynamoDB dot DynamoDB error, and you're going to return R dot create the table connection so that means the create table function is being called here and that's the one that that's why we created this function here it's not in the interfaces because the user is not calling directly but the migrate function is calling the create table function I'll come back uh, come to that in a minute uh, but let's create the get mock function first get mock function doesn't take anything but returns an interface okay what does it return the fun the interface is going to return is part of product base we've already created the base file right it's going to have entities dot base and when you actually go to entities dot base you'll understand what i'm talking about it has id created at an updated at these three things and that's what you wanted to have here. So you'll have ID created at. Okay, it's already written automatically created at time.now for me. And updated at, which is again time.now. And ID is going to be UUID. Comma. Awesome. Here you'll put a comma. Say name UUID new dot string awesome now you want to have validate functions func r rules validate model interface and it returns an error so you'll take a variable called product model comma error and product package or interface to model function and the model. And here we'll check for error. So we'll say if error is not equal to nil, we're going to return the error. Sorry, 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 sorry. Equal to nil. Then you want to return the error. Awesome. Okay, so it has a get mock function which kind of returns a uh, product interface uh, with <coughs> some default values, right? Because some mock data and it also returns a name here. 
Uh, so that means to have a product, you need to have some base values and, and some and a name, right? So name will be a unique string and base will have a unique ID, data attribute, or just timestamps for now. The timestamps for now. Then you have a validate function, and um, the thing that this returns is validation dot validate struct. We'll create these functions. Validate struct. Here is the first product model, comma, validation dot field, dot field, and percent product model dot ID, validation required. So Dot required comes dot uu id v4 percent product model dot name comma validation dot required validation dot length So in case uh, you haven't figured it out yet, which is quite, it's quite, uh, you know, easy to understand that we are taking the ID and we're saying that validation is required for the ID and it's of type UUID version four, right? These three things it's checking. And um, then it's checking for the name, product model is name, then validation is required and validation length is three and 50. Okay, so that's all that's uh, doing basically. So firstly, uh, you change from interface to model. You need these functions, these helper functions to change interface to model or change, uh, you know, Dynamo, uh, pass Dynamo DB into struct or to create IO reader to struct. All these helper functions are there just for us to be able to move between different data types, JSON to something that DynamoDB understands to something which is struct, which Golang understands, right? Move it around between different data, uh, these data types. And uh, that's basically what we're doing and we're also validating this. Now the function that's left here to uh, make is the create table function, which is the last function. And uh, this is something that I'll pick up in the uh, next video. We aren't left with a lot. Our rules are almost done. And we just have to work with interfaces and then all the code on this project is done. And then we just have to solve and fix errors. And then we have to just run the project and test it. Uh, right. So I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're learning a lot. This is not a beginner friendly uh, tutorial series as you already probably have guessed by now and I've already said that multiple times in the series. Um, if you're a beginner Golang developer, you need to check out the JWT authentication tutorial series, the HRMS, the CRM, e-commerce. There's so many, so many uh, and the different type of scrapers and Slack bots and Discord bots. More than 100 videos I have on uh, Golang, right? So go check them out if you're a, a beginner developer. Thanks a lot for watching and do subscribe and see you in the next video.